Genoa, the capital of the Liguria region in northwest Italy, located between the Ligurian Sea and the Apennines. It is one of the most populated cities in the country, and its peculiar characteristics, certain natural hazards, three quarters of the municipality of Genoa is covered by vegetation, are a challenge to its inhabitants and makes the region prone to wildfires in dry seasons. Additionally, almost a hundred small drainage basins are located in the area, which implies very short reaction times during flood emergencies. This fact is even more significant because of the peculiar weather. One third of the annual rainfall sometimes falls in only six hours. This singular scenario makes Liguria an interesting pilot site for the Anywhere project, as we can integrate an operational platform to support decision-making during weather-induced emergencies. Genoa is completely built on the water. There are a lot of uh, small rivers beneath and uh, be, uh, on, also in the uh, open air and they are very, very short. So if uh, there are hard rainfalls, it can be very dangerous because we have no time to uh, communicate uh, the danger to population. Yeah, because they, they, in this area, both the Genoa City Council and the regional government of Liguria are working to enhance risk analysis and minimise the undesired impact of flash floods and forest wildfires on the population and critical infrastructure. The Anywhere platform is a tool that can be used to better tackle the problems derived from such hazards and climate and weather-induced events. It integrates forecast and hazard impact indicators related to a variety of weather-induced events, such as heavy rain, floods, snowstorms, droughts, heat waves, severe winds and forest wildfires, among others. Those forecasts are provided by a multi-hazard pan-European service developed within the Anywhere project. To facilitate the monitoring task and to support the decision-making process during emergency management, those forecasts are automatically cross-checked with local layers of information, including risk and vulnerability maps, local sensor data, open and commercial data, crowdsourced data and shared information from social media. The platform developed by the CIMA Foundation has already been implemented in Genoa Civil Protection Service headquarters systems. Subsequent to its deployment, a training course is held with the staff involved in the project before the operational stage. The, the training we are doing here is to make aware people from the uh, Genoa and Liguria pilot site about the tool we have developed together within anywhere and make them need to, able to use them operationally for one year. There are two objectives to the training course held at the pilot sites. One is to allow operators to test the platform and the pan-European forecasting products, familiarising staff with them so they can use them confidently on a daily basis. The second is to gather valuable feedback from end users that will help developers improve the system and ensure the needs of operational staff are met. The advantages, in my opinion, are mainly two. First of all, with this platform, we can uh, uh, see together the information from uh, hazard layer and uh, the um, exposure layer. And the second uh, point of the advantages is that we can uh, take decisions 
about uh, using information from the now casting instead of threshold. So we can uh, uh, understand what could happen in the future, in the some hours after, um, instead of uh, what happened before. So I think this is the more advantages of the platform. Through the Anywhere project, it is possible to deploy a decision support tool with the capacity to adapt to a series of impact assessment products for multiple weather-induced hazards to any specific environment, including single-use needs, regardless of its location. Yeah, sure, because basically what we develop within Anywhere is, is uh, uh, our different system that can be uh, used everywhere. Uh, feeded by the model and the information, the data available uh, from the uh, end user, the local end user. So basically uh, it can be uh, deployed in another place and filled with the data uh, provided by the local end users together with the data provided at the European level by the Anywhere Multi-Hazard Warning Platform.